Hi everyone, it's Claudine here. I'm so excited. I finished these little cans. Actually, this is the second batch I've done. And um, I wanted to share that with you. But first of all, I want to thank everybody for such nice comments and for all your support. And uh, all the new subbies that have subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And um, I hope that you'll continue to watch and enjoy the crafts that I make and if you have any questions if I can help in any way just let me know leave a comment okay so what I've got here are just regular cans my sister had sent me this can opener a lot of you probably have already seen this it's new to me but you set it on top of the can and you twist this knob here and it cuts real nice around the top part and when it cuts it does not leave any sharp edges at all. That is so wonderful. Here's a lid. And uh, I've already gessoed this because I'm going to use these on another project. There is no sharp edges. It's wonderful. There's no sharp edges here on top. Okay. So um, what I've done here is I made little post-it note holders and a pen and pencil holder it's a combination of both it's very functional and that's how I made them as you can see here I've already stacked this one full of items I have the colors of the green the yellow and the blue that's how I selected the colors for each one. Oh, before I forget let me show you this one okay this one is a smaller can it's so pretty and here's the lid and what I've done here is decorate it isn't that pretty I didn't do anything on the bottom part because I don't want to uh, obstruct the closure part okay so I left it like that and uh, that's a little bit of yarn tied around the center with some tool and some flowers and some stamens here and then I trimmed it all out with some trims from my stash my husband saw me making these and he loved the idea and said he wanted one for his desk in the steampunk style and so I made this one for him. <laughs> it was so cute. He loved it. He loved it. Look at that. I have gears. I put his initials right here. Little spring. Uh, this little piece here is from uh, Butterbee Scraps, and this little key I think just came from Michael's. And uh, I put a lot of flat back pearls on washers. Here's the back part. And you can see in the background I added some wire mesh. And um, these little screw heads are from Recollections. And I have a little pen nib right here. And some other little pieces of stuff. And uh, I just found that in his toolbox. Here's a chain with some charms hanging. And I told him I was giving him my heart. So that's the only thing that's feminine on here. <laughs> And um, he loves to fish, so he added his own little trinket, and this is a little what fishing weight hanging on a hook. And uh, he made it so it, there was no sharp edges there. So it turned out really cute. The uh, gears that I used came from Rene Bouquet, and these are it. And I have a couple more left, uh, but. Uh, this is what I use. And look at these. Aren't they gorgeous? Beautiful. Look at the texture. And what I did is I just went over it a little bit to tone it down because I wanted more black. And then so I rubbed some black paint over it. And then I rubbed the edges with some uh, silver ink of gold. And so it. this is the uh, results that I got. Look at that. Isn't that so cool? and really gives it a rustic look so <laughs> you hear the timer 
my husband's in there cooking. He likes to use a timer. Okay, so um, the way that I did all this is set up an assembly line and I selected the uh, colors and the paper that I want to use. In this case, I used napkins and the only colors I needed was the green, the blue, and the yellow because that's the post-it notes that I have and I was just matching it to the post-it notes. Then I selected the paint color that I wanted to use. So I really had a good assembly line going and knocked these out pretty quick by doing that. And then all I had to do after that is add embellishments for each one. These flowers here are from Wild Orchid Crafts, but most all the other flowers that you see I did make myself. This is a really great way to use up a lot of scrap pieces and uh, makes, makes a uh, really cute functional gift for friends or family that they can use on the desk. Okay, here's a short clip of how I got these ready for embellishment. The first thing I did was gesso all the cans. And while I was at it, I decided to go ahead and gesso the lids so they'd be ready for our next project. Right here, I've got the napkins laid out with the post-it notes to match the colors. And um, I think those colors match really nice. Uh, I've got my clothespins here and the paint. I got a metallic blue, a butternut yellow, and ocean green to go with the colors of each uh, post-it note and napkins. Here's what the cans and the uh, clothespins look like all painted. I used this fan brush and some white paint and just uh, made streaks all around each can to just give it a little more interest before I start uh, Mod Podge in the tissue paper on. And that just adds a little more interest. And here's the yellow can and I'm adding some of the little white paint on there here and there. I'm not giving it full coverage. On this metallic blue, I had mixed some paint. As you can see, it kind of matches those uh, lighter flowers and after I mixed the paint I mopped it up with this cardstock and after it dried I used it to punch out the flowers uh, for the can when I was through. Here's the tissue or napkin that I'm tearing off the uh, first layer. You know, there's three layers and um, so I'm carefully going to tear off the uh, last layer which is closest to the printed pattern and I found if I tear the corner just a little bit it makes it easier to separate and uh, of course you do this slower than what I'm doing this is a uh, speed up fashion but uh, you want to be careful so you don't rip it all to shreds and uh, I'm going to save that piece too it, it can be used on a tag or a journal page uh, when I start to do any kind of collage uh, when I tear out the pieces that I'm going to use I like to remove all the straight edges uh, because when I collage it just looks better without a lot of straight edges and I'm going in here and I'm just picking out some of the main colors for the flower I make sure I have some of each and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, just start Mod Podging this on as soon as I decide which one to start with <laughs> okay here we go and when I Mod Podge uh, stuff on these cans um, it's just kind of random actually and I'm not trying to get full coverage uh, I want to leave a lot of empty spaces around and uh, the reason I like to use napkin is uh, when you Mod Podge over that paint you can see that color through some of that napkin and it, uh, it really gives a nice effect Uh, yeah, tear off into a little piece here. I got a little spot and I won't try to cover it completely. Just add a little piece right there. Uh, I'm just about done. 
it's so pretty. I love those colors. It really, really is pretty. Now that metallic blue shines a lot. So when I put this napkin on there, it does tone it down a lot more. But y'all should see this in person. It really is pretty. Love the colors. Okay, right here I put a little Mod Podge on the close pin. And same thing, I'm applying the napkin on there. And uh, when I put that last coat of Mod Podge on, it really does tear off pretty easy without even using scissors. Um, it overhangs a little. It's alright, that's not a problem. And uh, I do try it with just one coat of Mod Podge and not co covering the top napkin and it's a little harder to separate and to get a clean edge so that's pretty it turned out good and so on this one it uh, I put the first coat of Mod Podge on I put the napkin on and then I tried to separate it on the edge and it is a little harder that way just so y'all know <laughs> but it still turned out nice here's the steampunk uh, can and I put some modeling paste on and laid some of that wired mesh on a couple of places and I left that metal band on the bottom so I would know where to stop with the modeling paste and uh, this is some of that embossed tape on some cardstock and I'll put it on after I paint the can and Here's the can painted black, and then I'll start uh, applying some of that embossed metal tape. Here's the first set of cans that I made, and uh, this is a yellow one. I used wild orchid grass flowers and some yarn, and on the back side, you see the little bows. I uh, colored those to match the uh, pink. And so this is the second set, and this is a little close-up of each one. And these were a lot of fun, and the reason I put two clothespins on each one, one clothespin holds the uh, post-it note, the second clothespin holds any notes that you want to save. So that's the idea of me using uh, two clothespins. So I hope y'all like it. I appreciate you watching. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye.